Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel, at Flippin' Hippos. Today on Hungry Hippo, I'm going to show you how to make chicken tortilla soup. You're going to need boneless, skinless chicken breasts, tomatoes and green chilies, black beans, enchilada sauce, corn, and chicken broth. As you can see here in the crock pot, my chicken has already been prepared. I put about a pound to a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken breasts in the crock pot. They um, can be frozen even, they don't have to be thawed out. And I add one to two tablespoons of my taco seasoning. If you haven't watched the recipe on how to make the taco seasoning, I'll link it below for you. So I put the chicken breast and the taco seasoning in the crock pot and I cook it for six to eight hours over low. And then you just take two forks right in the crock pot and you shred it. So it looks like that. And then typically what we'll do is we'll eat chicken tacos the night that I make this. And then the next day I use the leftover chicken for my soup. So you get more than one meal out of this. You get chicken taco night and then you get chicken tortilla soup. Um, the soup for us actually makes about four meals. We'll eat it twice out of here and then I freeze the rest in airtight containers for up to three months. So, once you have your cooked chicken that's shredded and seasoned with taco seasoning, you're going to dump in a can of tomatoes and green chilies. You're going to dump in a can of black beans. I do juice and all. You can drain them if you so choose. I dump in a can of enchilada sauce. And you can see I'm actually using Old El Paso. I haven't ever really seen a generic red enchilada sauce. And this is under a dollar at Walmart, so it's not expensive. And the recipe calls for one pound of corn. You can see I have a two pound bag. It was cheaper to buy it in bulk. So I'm gonna use about half of the bags and then I'll refreeze the other half for a future recipe. So I'll just kind of guesstimate. If you're not good at guesstimating, just buy a one pound bag. And then from here, what you do is you fill your crock pot up to the rim with chicken broth. You can use the bouillon like I do. You can buy the pre-made broth, whatever you want to do. Just make sure it's full all the way to the brim with the chicken broth. And you'll cook it on low for four to six hours. And then when you serve it, I, um, I serve it with white rice. I don't put the rice in the crock pot for the reason I don't think rice freezes and then thaws out well. I think it gets a weird texture to it if you freeze it. So I make the white rice on the side and we each add however much we want to our bowl of soup. And that way there's no rice in here when I portion it out to freeze it. So I serve it with white rice and then we sprinkle the shredded cheese on top. And then if you're really feisty and you're not on a strict diet or if you're on a cheat day, you can get tortilla chips and crunch them in um, on the top to have like a nice crunchy taco layer. Sometimes I just take them whole and dip and eat like that. So it's that easy. The only additional ingredients you need that you don't see here is white rice, tortilla chips, and sprinkle cheese, and those are all optional. You can even put um, a dollop of sour cream in your bowl of soup or sliced olives or chives. You can get as fancy with it as you want. I may add a tablespoon of the minced onions and a little bit of garlic to it just because we like our things really, really garlic heavy and I love onion flavor, but that's it. So I always make it the night before so it can sit in the refrigerator and all the flavors can mingle and mix before it cooks, but this is done. It is that easy. It is very simple. And if you make the chicken the day before, you have chicken tacos and then you have chicken soup. They're both really easy recipes to make. Let me know down in the comments below if you try it and you like it or if you don't like it. I want to know that too. I'm always curious to know what other people's palates are like. If you have a recipe that's similar to do something different, let me know. I'm always willing to try new things. And if you would do me a favor and smash that like button down below, I would really appreciate it, guys. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Cloven Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.